Hey everyone and welcome to our 99th episode of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert Lewis. I will be your host for today's show. I'm sure what a happy St. Patrick's Day to start. I hope you will be enjoying some amazing stouts today. And if you are going to enjoy some stouts, hopefully there are some awesome home brews and hopefully there's some Mr. Beer home brews. Um, you know, we started drinking stouts yesterday. Might just run it through the week. Not too sure how many, but it's a good day to celebrate and drink a few beers for sure. Um, as always, we appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in and watch our videos. If you want to reference our notes for this video or any of our past 98 videos now, you can find those on our blog page, mrbeer.com slash blog. Also find a bunch of cool recipes and other fun stuff we got going on on that thing. So definitely good to check out the blog. A lot of frequently asked questions on there. Um, a lot of stuff going back several, several years. So a good place to research for some knowledge for sure. Um, Got a pretty quick topic again for you guys today. Um, the question is, can you bottle and carbonate your beer in growlers? Uh, it's something that I think people ask uh, pretty often. I think we hear this question and, um, you know, growlers are really cool. They look really cool when you fill them with beer, when you take them home from your local craft brewery or whatever tap house you're going to, you know, get a growler fill, take it home, enjoy the beer that night or the next day. It's usually pretty good to go. Um, However, they don't work that well for bottling your beer for for the most part. There are some exceptions I'll talk about at the end, but for the most part, they do not work that well. So we recommend against bottling your beer in growlers. And there's a few reasons for that. Uh, the first, depending on the type of growler um, that you have, the lid may not be suitable to keep in that CO2. I and mean, some are kind of just like plastic or metal twist tops and some stuff like that that are very simple. Sometimes they don't have the proper seal. so. If you bottle your homebrew in there and then you go to carbonate it, the carbonation is just going to leach out of that lid because it's not going to seal it in tight and keep that CO2 in there. So what you're going to get is flat beer. So you're going to go through all that work, especially if you do like a gallon growler. That would be a lot of flat beer. That would not be enjoyable to drink or a fun thing to open, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah, depending on if you have a, the, you know, a bad lid, that can help your beer not have any CO2 and not be good to go. Uh, another reason that we recommend against is that growlers are often have like a thinner glass than uh, most beer bottles. So this can lead to bottle bombs because they can't withstand the pressure. So if you happen to have a decent growler with a good lid, but the glass is very thin, you know, that carbonation pressure that builds up when the yeast is eating either the sugar or the carb drops you put in there, it gets pretty intense. So if you don't have the proper uh, bottle that's held a carbonated beverage before, it may not withstand that pressure and could explode I don't know if you ever had any bottle bombs, but they're not fun. I mean, that's one of the things about using our plastic PET bottles is if something does happen, you get a bottle bomb, usually the, the bottom just blows out. Uh, using glass, they can actually just explode and shatter, which can be quite dangerous and a little scary and a little intense. Um, yeah, so it's not something that you want to use. So, I mean, obviously the two main reasons that we talked about of why you don't want to bottle your beer and growlers is the lid, thin glass, probably won't hold your CO2 in there and bottles might explode, which would be really bad. Uh, now it should be noted that, you know, we're kind of talking about traditional uh, screw top growlers that you have for, like I mentioned earlier, the ones you usually get from your local brewery. They're gonna have the, the, you know, the kind of aluminum metal lid thing that they put on there. Um, those aren't gonna work. Now there are growlers that are like swing top growlers that you can use, I and mean, I've seen those. Those will work well, they're often thicker glass as well. Uh, sometimes if you get the bottle or something with the right kind of lid, that will hold in pressure. You can also use those. Just make sure you got something with thick glass. You don't want that to explode again. Um, but you know, just to be safe, help ensure your beer is fully carbonated. Make sure you're going to have an awesome beer. You know, two weeks after you bottle it, we just recommend staying away from growlers, using beer bottles or any type of bottle that's held a carbonated beverage in the past. That's the safest way to go. Uh, that's going to wrap it up. Like I said, it was a pretty quick one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, like it or comment on the video. Let us know if you have any additional questions about this topic. Um, if you want to follow us on social media, we are at Mr. Beer on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, uh, which is pretty cool. If you're posting pictures of, of your beer or your brewing process, just make sure to tag us. Or if you're posting videos on YouTube, make sure to send us a copy of the link. We love to see those and like them and share them and stuff like that. It's really cool to see all the stuff you guys are doing, the beers that you're brewing for sure. Um, if you want to learn more about Mr. Beer or just brewing with Mr. Beer, hang out with fellow like-minded Mr. Beer brewers. Check out our Facebook group, Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. You can find that just by searching Mr. Beer's Brewing Society on Facebook. Uh, we ask you to answer three questions and then we will let you in.
that's going to wrap it up for today. I uh, hope you guys have a good St. Patrick's Day. Hope you drink some awesome stouts. And uh, today's the last day for our St. Patrick's Irish Stout refill sale for twelve fifty. So make sure to snag that deal while you can. Uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. Cheers.